Angel Superstar. So now that you have read a little bit about 111, let me just make sure that you understand. When you're receiving that sequence as your spiritual guidance, it's going to come to you as something on the clock. It might be 111 a.m. or p.m. It might be something on um, a post that you see across social media. It can be on a song. It can be any type of way, but it is being received by you and it's being sent by the universe, divine source. So it's coming over in the ethers, in the spirit realm. It's all energy. Here's what you really want to pay attention to when you're seeing 111. You are manifesting something way above and beyond anything than you that you have been able to manifest before. So you might be on the next step or the next level of your career life. You might be living in your purpose, living your dream life, and you might just be wanting or seeking something more. You just might want more money. You might just want more of uh, recognition. You might want more notoriety or fame or anything, but you might also be manifesting um, a deeper sense of appreciation from your family. It could be a solution to your children's um, surgery or it can be anything but please keep in mind that you are on the cusp of receiving something very powerful and long-lasting indeed see when we have that sequence of 111 we are taking active steps towards the fruition of our hopes, wishes, and dreams. So when you feel that fear-based energy come in and tell you no stop or maybe we should rethink this and you can't and you find yourself just pulling all the way back from the pathway that you have been so passionate about, you really want to check your human because your human might very well be feeding fear and not faith. When 111 comes in, you are already on that path. So often what happens is we get blindsided. The obstacles come. And if we're not aware of how that test is going to come, it may beat us. And I don't want that to happen for you any more than I want it to happen for myself. So when you're seeing 111, be very much on the lookout of your own thought process. Stay positive, optimistic, and if you are around any uh, negative people, any people that are doubting what you want to do for a living, they're doubting your ideas, your plans, they're, diet, they're doubting your um, amazing vision, stop sharing your vision, your ideas, and your plans with them. They are not worthy enough to be responsible with your vision. It's your baby. It is your vision and no one else can see it unless you share it with them. So why does Spirit only gift it to you? Well dear, because you are here on earth to make your dreams come true, not theirs. And they are not on earth to make your dreams come true. They are here for their purpose as well. No matter what they believe, if they don't believe in their own dreams, or if they do, they still have their unique walk just as much as you do. So, for example, when you're seeing 111, I guarantee you, without a shadow of a doubt, that you've got some haters in your midst. It could be siblings. It could be your parents. It could be, now, just 
hold on with me because I know I rattled some people when I said that. It could be your kids. It could be your cousins. It could be your best friends. And it doggone sure can be your spouse. Now let me tell you what that means. It means that you can still love these people. It means that you have to acknowledge that they are people. That they are humans just like you. Only acknowledge the fact that you are recognizing that spiritual guidance is coming to you for a reason. Therefore, you are just on a different frequency than they may be. And that's okay. It doesn't matter that doesn't it doesn't mean that you're better than anybody. It doesn't mean that you are saying I can't be with them anymore. It means that temporarily you might just have to separate yourself. It means with or without you. It means that where spirit is sending you, they are not coming with, okay? Unless you try to bring them and that's going to be a mistake. Anybody that's doubting you during this time is serving as a straight up obstacle. That obstacle you need to see as the test it is and you need to pass. For example, let's say that your own mama is, you know, you love her to life, right? Good woman, mamas get passes, I don't care how rough we are. Let's <laughs> say that with, with some care there, but we get passes. And so now if mama gave up on her own dreams and if she finds it very difficult to be supportive to you in your dreams. Recognize that for what it is. It's still mama's journey. Her pain is not supposed to be your pain. And even though moms project onto their kids, onto everybody else sometimes, we don't mean to. And in that rare occasion where maybe some people do, it's still not your journey. It's hers. Same thing goes for your spouse. Same thing goes for your kids, your best friend, your neighbors, your co-workers. It's not their journey. So when you do get those naysayers, the doubters, you better go on and get a job because I know you're trying to open up this uh, natural wellness brick and mortar, but we in the middle of a pandemic and nobody's going to be coming in a store anyway. So I think you need to get a job because we need, we got bills to pay. I know you want to do this thing. I know you believe in it and everything, but you know, we really need money right now. And you're just not getting that support. That just means that you may have to get a job right now and then burn the midnight oil and show your spouse that you really do me this means something to you. You really do mean business and you're not going to let this serve as an obstacle that beats you. You're going to let it serve as the test, the trial that it is, and then you're going to beat it. Okay, so when you're seeing 111, really know that the tests are going to come, the sadness is going to come, the trials and difficulties are going to come, the heaviness is going to come, only because Spirit is saying, focus on me, feed faith. Star fear right now. Need you to focus on your positive thought and I need you to not let this negative energy get the best of you. So it is going to be tough. Take it from me. I'm speaking from experience and even I have to really check myself. One of the things that I do to make sure I get through when I'm seeing 111 because it is seriously a blessed sequence for you to see. Uh, receive is I let other people in on it not just anybody let me tell you I am extremely particular about who I let in on my spiritual guidance because it is for me so I go straight to my ancestors first and foremost I also go to my kids my kids are 9 and 12 and I'm raising them to recognize their own spiritual gifts and spiritual guidance and they are very aware. So we hold each other accountable. Now, here's the deal. 
you might just be um, able to bring in a coworker, a best friend, and you might not. But you always have your ancestors on the other side. You always have your spirit guides. You always have divine source. You will always have help. And you will always be um, okay, expected to actually ask for confirmation, ask for help, and ask for spirit to send you your spiritual guidance um, repeatedly. You know, make sure that you're saying that. Thank you so much. Please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you this, okay? You're going to receive it. It's a matter of you mastering your human and controlling her to the point of she does what you say do. So she's not going to ignore your spiritual guidance and act like that sequence didn't just happen three times in a row in one hour because it shook her so much to the core that she knows she doesn't control that type of magic and so she's like it didn't just happen that's not logical didn't happen then she'll dismiss it if you don't check her and say hold up sister yes it did just happen we just received three ones back to back in 30 minutes let me look at Nicole's video I need to write this down I need to know step by step what to do because I know we about to be blessed she has no control over that okay whether you're human as a she or a he you got to be in control of her or him because, honey, that's your shadow. So we don't want you missing none of your blessings, all right? So I hope that that makes sense. If you're receiving 111, you've got some blessings coming in. Comment down below about your experience in receiving 111. And I will come back and do my very best and answer your questions. Meet us over on 11-11-2020 in our very special um, private Zoom if you are a spiritual teacher, advisor, card reader, if you're going in your purpose, your mission, your calling because I'm sharing the mistakes I made in business and how I am succeeding five years later and thriving. I'm sharing with you my mistakes, my secrets and all of that because that's what we need to do. We have to give back. And you are my community and I want to see you thrive. I want to see you be successful. And you have spiritual gifts to share with the masses. And if I can help you get your mission out there, if I can help you stay in business, stay home with those babies because you don't want to keep working for somebody else, if, you, if I can help you not stress out about how you're going to pay the rent, how you going to pay the bills and you've got these spiritual gifts and you want to share them with the world, helping other people, then that's what I'm here for. So you make sure that you make it to our event. And here it is right here. So stay tuned and I will see you very soon. Mwah.